a million of us Brits have a curry every day. But just why do we have the hots for the fiery stuff? Some think the word curry comes from the Tamil word curry, meaning spice sauce. But one thing all experts agree on is that it originates from India and was adopted by the British Raj. So as this series is about discovering the roots to one of the nation's favourite dishes, we have to go to its birthplace. And our first leg takes us to Kolkata, home to Jalfrezi and the city that was once the capital of India. Chicken tikka masala is to Britain's favourite curry dish. No, Jalfrezi has been hitting the top spot for the last year. Really? Yes. We've come to meet Chef Anshuman Chakraborty, who knows a thing or two about the famous curry. If you break up the word, uh... Jal frezi. Jal means spicy in Bengali. Yep. Yeah. And uh, frezi in Bean Urdu means, yes, means, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so it's a hot fryer. During the British Raj, the British people used to love their meats and roasts. Yes. So the servants, without uh, throwing the leftover, the next morning they used to stir fry those roast meats with some mm. vegetables, some curries, and some spices to make it a, a dish by itself. So, so it was a use up dish then? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and they yes. would actually make it for the British palate. What are the key ingredients to, to a Jalfrezi? The key ingredients are uh, tomatoes, yeah. the bell peppers, yeah. and uh, the chilies. Chilies. Oh, okay. Cook it till translucent, yes. just lightly brown. Yeah. And then I have added the chicken tikka. Okay. And which is already cooked. Yeah. Which is already cooked. Yep. You can't help there. yourself, can you? You just can't help yourself. <laughs> a bit of coriander. <laughs> it is like a stir fry. Mm. It is. I didn't know that. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Thank you very Super. much. Super. As we're in Kolkata, we have to visit the River Gandhi, but let's travel in style. Phil, Phil, come on, I've got a carriage for us. Come on. Trust you, Reza. Oh, you're such a spoiled sport, Phil. I wonder what the point is to having a driving license. Well, there is no point, is it really? <laughs> the Ganges is the longest river in India, stretching for over one and a half thousand miles and is a lifeline to millions of people. This is where the locals come and bathe as well as wash their clothes. What, shave? Yeah, but oh, the whole thing? They, not the whole thing, just wash and shave and bathe and they swim. This water then gets pumped further up north somewhere and it gets purified and ultimately ends up being drinking water. <laughs> no, don't look at me like that. Come on, Phil, I've got us a boat to go down the Ganges. Oh, here we go again. It's also known as the Hooghly River, which goes straight into the Bay of Bengal, which is 150 kilometers wow, away from wow, here. Wow. Look at the children over there. You can see them, they're all busy bathing. Oh, they're washing? Yeah. So every day they'll do this? Yes, absolutely. From the tranquility of the Ganges to the frantic pace of Kolkata's nightlife, and it's as if they knew I was coming. It's Durga Puja, the biggest festival in Calcutta. Let's go! It's an annual festival that celebrates the worship of Durga, the goddess of divine power against all evils. Statues depicting her victory over the Demon King are made for a nine-day festival which concludes with them being cast into the River Ganges and also involves a lot of dancing. Oh my! Phil's gone all native on us! My kids are never going to speak to me after this. Well, that's our first stop on our colour tour of India. But I want to see how Jal Fraser changed when we brought it back to Blighty. Come on, Rosa. OK. Back to cold grey UK now. Next stop is London, where one of the first curry houses was opened in 1810, and where curry has become haute cuisine, with chefs like Atoll Kutcher earning a Michelin star. Back to Jal Fraser. The servants of the British Raj in Kolkata were mainly Bangladeshi. So it's no surprise that with the massive influx of Bangladeshis to the UK in the 70s, they are now thought to own around 80% of British curry houses. So we've come to London's Brick Lane, which is one of the UK's biggest Bangladeshi communities, to find out more about Ajal Frazee. 
we've come to talk to Mukim Ahmed, owner of Cafe Naz and chef Stephen Gomez. Jalfrezi is the restaurant's top selling curry and they serve over 10,000 portions every year. And is it a popular dish in the restaurant? Yes, it is because it's pretty healthy now. And um, people are very health conscious nowadays. They don't want oil floating in the food. They don't want a lot of cream. They don't want a lot of butter. So Jalfrezi is the dish. You can make it sweet, sour, hot, spicy. Oh, he's, you know what, he's had enough of me. I, he's had enough of me whilst we were in India. Jalfrezi now become very popular in the United Kingdom. What's the best Jalfrezi? Turkey, what do you think? As a chef, chicken. Turkey, Turkey if you want it to. Yeah. Yes, during Christmas, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Once a year, yes. And yeah. after all, if there is left you know, roast turkey, turkey that, that's for Christmas, hello! That's what Jalfrezi is all about. You could make a Jalfrezi out of your roast turkey. So it's time to pit the old versus the new recipes against each other, Reza. But which one would triumph in the taste test? OK, come on. Get cracking and get cooking. Well, I'm going to make a traditional spicy version using turkey. And I'm going for a milder one with chicken thighs. Let the spice wars begin. Onions go in, oil, a bit of turmeric, a bit yeah. of ginger, a bit of coriander, a bit of fresh chilli. Yeah. Cook the, the garlic and ginger for a couple of minutes to get rid of the rawness. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you a little tip. Take it or leave it. I put cardamom cloves, cassia bark, mm -hmm. star anise, mm -hmm. some fennel seeds, cumin seeds and some dried red chilies. And then you add the onions with a bit of turmeric and some salt and now the tomatoes are in. Just a few ingredients then, Reza. Oh, your, your pan's burning. Look at that. You just worry about yourself. You worry Look about at yourself. that pan. What have you done to Don't it? Don't you worry about me. Right. So while Phil sticks to his chicken, I'm going for super healthy turkey. Let's serve up. Let's serve up. Perfect. You taste mine. I'll well, taste, taste yours. yours. Looks good, Reza. Mm. This is really good. Yours is so fragrant. That's really no. good. I'm really worried. No, 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 <laughs> I'm no, really, not. really worried. No, That's mine. Go, go. We've come to London's oldest market, Spitalfields, a top spot for eating out to find out which one of our recipes carries favour with the great British public. Oh, well, I'm going to give them all a bit of a naan yeah, bread. Yeah, there you are. Yes, okay. exactly. Let's see who gets the most votes. Orange chips for me. And blue chips for me. Which one did you prefer? Oh, I get. loved yours. Yeah. Oh, you love mine? Oh, my, oh, my, pills. Oh, oh, my good godfather. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. <laughs> I like this. So is it going to be so hot, it's going to blow me away? <laughs> you prefer the spicy? Oh, darling, I love you. Okay, here, let me give you the mild one. Here you go, sweetheart. There you can it's not use mild. It's nice. Right. I like the hot one because I love... Oh, darling, you're an <laughs> angel. We love you. You're yeah, so in the pan. <laughs> Which one did you prefer? I did struggle to eat it, though. My nerves are already on tenterhooks. Of truth. What, what did you get? 27. My god, I got 31! Well done, mate. Where are you? Thank you. Chicken tikka masala next. You're on. I'm upping my game. Okay, I'm up for that too. Mm.